Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bait. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we are talking about dopamine detox and how you can trick your brain into liking hard things. Now, let's talk about dopamine in general. Dopamine is basically the feel-good response that your brain gets when you do something, right? So, let's do some examples, right? Some cheap and easy dopamine is something like eating candy or scrolling on social media or drinking and watching Netflix, right? All those things are very easy to attain. They give you that dopamine hit, they give you that feel-good feeling, but you didn't really have to work that hard to get that or unlock it, right? On the contrary, going to the gym and working out and exerting yourself physically is hard work, right? You have to break a sweat to do it. You have to put some effort into it. It's not something that you necessarily want to do. It's pretty challenging. In fact, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, doing something that's hard, is something that your brain tries to fight you on. Naturally, as humans, we try to pursue the path of least resistance, meaning that we avoid pain and pursue pleasure. So, generally speaking, the things that give you the highest dopamine reward are the things that are harder to achieve in life. Now, here's the difference though. To achieve something in life that unlocks a fat dopamine hit for you, like achieving a life goal, building up your dream body, seeing the, you know, reaping the rewards of your hard work and your labor in any aspect of your life, whether you be a man or woman, which whatever you're choosing to do, you know what I mean? Those things require discipline and they require delayed gratification. Now, here's the thing with dopamine. When you pursue the cheap and easy dopamine, you, de you develop a dependence on it. You become reliant on it. And because it is so quick and easy to access and for little to no consequences in the short term, meaning it's very easy for you to open your phone, go to Instagram and start scrolling, right? Like you didn't have to do anything challenging to do that. You didn't, it didn't require any level of discipline. It didn't require any amount of self-respect, any delayed gratification. You said, I want a dopamine, I want to feel good. I click Instagram, I scroll feed, right? I consume, I see content. That's all you had to do to get that. However, when you start to pursue the cheap dopamine like that, what happens is, your tolerance for dopamine and your brain's dependency on it starts to increase. So as you develop the pattern and the habit of, hey, every time I want a cheap dopamine hit, I'm gonna go here and get it and access it like this, your brain starts to deteriorate its ability to be disciplined and focus on long-term gratification, right? We want short-term instant gratification. And the society that we live in has programmed us to think this way. Everything around us is, you know, cheap dopamine, basically. You know, we are being advertised and sold to and marketed from every perspective, from all angles, right? So it's really, really hard to ignore that stuff, stay focused, and really just dive into being who you want to be, doing the things that you know you need to do in life, even though they're hard. So how do we reset the kind of circuitry in our brain that has become programmed to chasing this cheap dopamine, right? Because ultimately it is unrewarding, it's unfulfilling, and it leaves us feeling okay in the short term and like shit in the long term. Because we know that we have pushed back our actual goals even farther by pursuing this cheap dopamine. We know that the thing that we're really after is not what we're going to unlock or achieve by scrolling on Instagram, on Facebook, on whatever. You know what I mean? So if you want to truthfully get to the place in life that you wanna be, where you wanna go, then you need to understand that you have to reset your brain and trick it into pursuing the things that are hard, doing the things that are hard by in the short term, reducing the amount of dopamine that you access, right? <clears throat> Having some self-control and some discipline as far as what you choose to do to feel good. Now you can go to the gym, it requires effort, your body's going to try and fight you on it because again, naturally we pursue the path of least resistance, right? Anything that requires physical exertion, mental or physical energy or effort is something that our brain is gonna try and convince us to think twice about, right? <clears throat> so it, when you unlock the discipline, when you start to force yourself to do the things that are hard, it creates a flywheel effect. Because when you start doing the hard things, now first, before you get there, I, this is the important part, this is the detox part, right? Before we can start to convince our brain to do the hard shit, 
we have to cut it off from accessing the cheap and easy dopamine, right? You cannot be in two worlds at once. Your brain will forever struggle and forever fight you if you allow it to be conditioned on the cheap dopamine, right? If you're still scrolling on Facebook and Instagram for hours, if you still consume, you know, days worth of YouTube on a weekly basis, if you still watch Netflix and drink and smoke and do all these other things, understand that you are making it 10 times, 100 times, whatever, harder for yourself to actually do the hard things because your brain is gonna be like, hey, we could just be doing this instead, or hey, we could be doing this instead. It's all distractions. It's going to lead to you having so much extra noise in your brain because it's gonna try and be convincing you to go back to the old way, to the easy stuff, because that's all it wants. It's conditions for that fix, right? So in order to do that, we have to wipe our circuitry. We have to start with a clean slate and reprogram our brain to doing the things that are hard, but ultimately more rewarding and more aligned with our life path, with our life goal, with our purpose, and the things that we truthfully want out of life, right? So cut out social media, cut out junk food, eliminate drinking, smoking, all the things that are just quick and easy, that don't require any effort, that make you feel good, that ultimately distract you and take time and effort away from the things you could be doing to improve yourself. Now, I'll be making whole other videos. If you go back and watch my monk mode video, you know, there's a lot of different stuff we can talk about with that. However, understand that you need to detox yourself cut out all of the cheap dopamine and from there we now have a baseline right once we have reset ourselves we can start building the positive habits up on top of that so let's talk about some things that are very rewarding in the long term but difficult in the short term because these are the things that we want now typically the harder the goal is to achieve the more effort it's going to take the more you're going to have to exert yourself to get it and the longer it's going to take you so the further into the future that you can delay your gratification and your dopamine hit, chances are the thing that you end up building or creating or doing in the process of getting there is gonna be ultimately a billion times more fulfilling than you going and scrolling on social media or drinking or whatever, right? So this is how you optimize yourself for your goals. Wipe the slate clean and then start building positive habits. Start doing the things that you know you need to do. Now here's what you're gonna notice when you start doing that. When you start going to the gym consistently, when you start meditating or journaling or, you know, writing or working on your business or, you know, drawing or doing the thing that you want to do, fulfilling your purpose, chasing and pursuing that goal that you've had in the back of your mind, but you've just been so distracted with the dumb shit that you haven't been able to do yet or haven't started yet. Once you start implementing the harder things, you notice how much better you feel because that guilt, that subconscious piece of your brain that knows when you're on Instagram scrolling for days, you're really fucking off and wasting your life, that voice starts to go away. You start to reprogram your brain to want the hard things because not only are they more fulfilling, but they also are actually what's getting you what you want out of life. Now, again, it takes time. I think there's studies that have been done. It's like, you know, bank on two to three weeks before you can truthfully implement new habits. However, sometimes it takes shorter, sometimes it takes longer, right? But generally speaking, I can tell you that you will feel a million times better about yourself and about where you're going in life when you can eliminate the distractions, eliminate the cheap, easy dopamine, the dumb shit, and start pursuing the hard things in life. It creates this positive feedback loop where you start to want the hard things more. The cheap dopamine becomes less and less appealing the more that you shut it down, the more that you turn it away. Now, with anything in life, if you want to achieve something great, it's going to require discipline. And swatting yourself on the wrist when you start to catch yourself mindlessly scrolling on the internet, those are the little things that you can do to start building up the positive habits that are gonna allow you to be disciplined, stay focused, and achieve the things that you actually want in life. And it all starts with the dopamine detox because if you don't do that, you're not gonna have the ability to basically convince your brain to do hard shit. And doing hard shit is ultimately what gets you results in life and it gets you to the place you wanna go. So with that being said, um, understand that you are robbing yourself of your future if you continue to allow yourself to chase that cheap and easy dopamine. So you really, really, really need to be able to discipline yourself, rein it in, 
wipe your slate clean, detox yourself from dopamine, take 30, 60 days, do monk mode. I've got videos on that. Check out my channel. To, just go watch the monk mode videos. That's what you need to know right there. Shut everything out. Go into your place where, you know, you're completely shut in. You're locked out. You know what I mean? All of your distractions are gone. You can just focus on doing what you know you need to do. That is the place where you're going to find yourself. You're going to find the ability to be disciplined, lock in with those habits, build up the life that you actually want, and um, hopefully achieve amazing things. And that's all I got for you guys. Check out some of my other videos. Like I said, the monk mode ones are huge. That's what you need to know right there if you want to detox uh, from dopamine and kind of reset that part of your brain. But super important. Um, hopefully you guys got some value from that. If you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, have a blessed day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.